In this video, we are showing you a solution for solving mission 3 called Coral Reef from this year's first LEGO League Challenge Submerged Robot Game. This mission involves the coral reef structure at the north wall of the field, along with two reef segments located between the models of the coral nursery and shipwreck in the west, and one reef segment between the unexpected encounter and chain shipping lane missions in the east. The mission represents the need to be careful with corals in nearby flora. For this mission, 20 points are awarded if the coral reef in the main mission model is flipped up and not touching the map. An additional 5 points can be scored with each reef segment. Note that the robot or any team equipment, like a jig, is not allowed to be touching the mission model at the end of the match, including the reef segments. There is no specific requirement for which parts of the mission to solve or in which order. You could choose to only do the coral structure. If your robot does not interact with the reef segments at all and is able to avoid them while navigating the field, you would automatically score the 15 points for them. This is because the segments start in the position they need to be in at the end of the match, already upright and outside of the home area. We are using the Spike Prime Advanced Driving Base built from instructions provided in the Spike Prime software. Let's dive in and see how we accomplished this mission. For our solution, we reused the Spike Prime lift arm with the mid-sized tire mounted underneath the end of the arm to flip up the coral structure on the main mission model. This attachment also works to solve Mission 2, Shark, and Mission 5, Anglerfish. The build instructions for the lift arm itself can be found in the Spike Prime software. For handling the reef segments, we attached two angled beams in the front of our robot and hung a contraption with a horizontal beam that sits just above the mat in the back of the robot. Please note that for our solution, we are ignoring any krill and the water sample on the mat that might be in the way of the robot to focus solely on solving this mission. Our robot starts from the right launch area to collect the first reef segment on the east side of the field. As the robot drives across the mat towards the coral reef structure, it pushes the reef segment in front. The robot approaches the mission model at an angle from the east and presses down the yellow activator plate to flip up the corals in the coral structure. It then drives to the red launch area to collect the other two reef segments. Once in the launch area, one of the drivers picks up the three reef segments and places them upright in the right corner of the launch area. The robot is then aligned sideways against the southern wall of the table, with its rear pointing towards the research vessel mission model. With the press of a button, the robot slowly drives backwards, carefully pushing the reef segments so that they don't fall over as they move out of the launch area. For solving this mission you earn 20 points if the coral reef is flipped up and not touching the mat, and 5 points for each reef segment that is standing upright outside of the home area and touching the mat at the end of the match. For a total of 35 points possible.